So yeah, I have an excruciatingly hot, straight roommate. What's up? I'm Thor. Like the comic. Yep. Where did this crazy movie come from? Yeah. The milieu of the movie is kind of autobiographical in the sense that when I was that age, I was, you know, sexually confused and having these adventures. And my best friend was an art student, uh, very much like Stella. She wasn't a lesbian, but uh, people thought she was. Um, those years of your life, in a weird way, are sort of like almost golden years, you know. They're, at the time, when you're going through them, they're kind of confusing yeah. and, and very sort of traumatic and... But then you look back and it's like, those were like the best years of my life, yeah. you know? And so I sort of wanted to make a movie about that period. And then from there, all, all these other elements sort of started to seep into the story as far as the cult and the conspiracy and the mystery and the red-haired girl and the animal mask men and all the other stuff. There is a definitely mood of paranoia and sort of apocalypse in America in particular right now, I think. Just the, the way the country is so divided and there's so many crazy people and so, you know, there is this real sense of like the world kind of coming to an end, you know what I mean? And like, and, and like things coming apart. I had a really freaky dream last night. The whole world Blew up. That's one of the things I love about the movie is that when you're young in particular, you have that those apocalyptic feelings a lot. You know, just like, oh, it's the end of the everything's the end of the world. Like, you fail an exam, it's the end of the world. What happened to your shoe? A drunk girl barfed on it. Ugh. Nice hat. Yeah, same to you. The universe of the movie definitely has its own logic and its own... I mean, it's obviously this crazy universe where there's like witches and supernatural powers and cults and murders and, you know, all this kind of crazy stuff going on. But it does have, it, it has rules and it has logic to me. You know, it does make sense. So I don't really see it as just being absolute chaos and madness and just like anything goes. But it is a place where a lot of crazy shit can happen. Are you okay? Yeah, uh, I'm... Oh, what was the question again? His performance in the movie, I think, is very, it's very subtle, and it's really a big burden that he has because he's really the conduit for the audience into the world of the movie. You know, like the, the realism of his performance is what makes the whole thing kind of work, and I think it, it, he does a really great job at it. I've been reading on the internet that if you do these flexibility exercises twice a day, you'll be able to give yourself a blowjob in three weeks. I'll email you the link. That, that's okay.